thank you for watching KTN News. Welcome back. We're coming to you straight from Wasangeshi County, Eldoret Town, and we are being hosted at the Eldoret Diamond House as we continue to have a conversation on matters to do with pension schemes and how best the Moy University Pension Scheme is actually giving back to its members through its trustees and also the managers who are handling the entire facility. In studio with me is a CPA Charles Nyameno, a Santisana for joining us, and Paul Ayu, a professor now. The vision of this building being, being put up after, after thinking of investing it, what was the vision? And even as we talk about it, it is a building that is technology savvy in terms of the water that you're using, the power that you're using, and it's also an investment opportunity. Bring us up to speed on why a potential investor should come here. Thank you. Uh, I've already alluded to the feasibility study that uh, informed uh, the pension scheme to invest in the building. But if, if you are looking at the building first and foremost, I don't know, you have taken a tour. You have gone upstairs, you have seen the walls, and you have seen the most important that most people don't realize is the orientation of the building. It's east-west, it's east-west. And you have seen the claddings on the wall, the, 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 the aluminum, perforated uh, aluminum on the walls. So in this building, if you have an office, you will not need an air conditioner nor a heater, depending on the season. You will not require those. They are already taken care of by the structures that have been added outside. First of all, also the, the location of the building, it's uh, just a walking distance from the main CBD, the main hospitals, the main shopping malls. So the strategic location, uh, makes it an ideal place to have an office or to have a business. You attract a lot of people. And this building, most of the times, uh, you said you are born here, you have seen the town grow, and you have seen that these days you could hardly get a parking space in the CBD. I don't know whether you have realized that, but this building has a parking space for up to 600 cars parked. Three floors of building underneath two, uh, podium parkings and so on. Those add to about 600 space for parking. And this building, when fully occupied in a day, can accommodate up to 12,000 people. And 12,000 people, imagine you have a shop here. That's a big market to market your items if you have a shop here. So there are very many advantages. And structurally, the building is sound. Uh, built by very experienced engineers and with that we have added infrastructure for telecommunications, the internet, the cables and, 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 and so on. With the solar added and, and uh, the water recirculation. So it's an ideal place to invest in. And uh, I will have a chance, if you have not, to talk to some of the people who are already here. They'll tell you how they are enjoying uh, the ambience of, of the building. Um, the other thing is that it is, there are three ways one can uh, access, it. Access, not, not access, but um, invest in the building. One is to buy, mm -hmm. number two is to rent or lease, and number three is to rent to own. Those are three mechanisms by which we are want to sell the building. It was not meant to be kept by the trustees. It was meant as an investment to be sold to grow the incomes of our members. Mm -hmm. That's what I can say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, when a chance now, the professor uh, is a professor of medicine, but also equally understands a lot about engineering. But uh, as we talk about um, in terms of investment, you are here on a daily basis. Earlier we were in your office and just the investment that stands here is humongous. It's huge. The pensioners have really invested in it. Maybe you could just talk to, uh, to uh, add on what the professor has said, including the, f um, the number of, uh, of pensioners that do exist in this scheme. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Seto. Um, to add to what the chairman has said, the building is uh, occupying space of 550,000 square feet ground. And uh, uh, the letable built is 550,000. Letable area is, uh, is 382,000 uh, square feet that is available. 
to potential clients to buy, to rent, to, to lease, to do a tenant purchase uh, as they may wish. And also, I want to add that the moment you buy space, the buyer will get a title under sectional titles, uh, pro sectional properties act. So you will own space and it will be surveyed, demarcated, and then you get a title at the end of your completion of your purchase price. And also, as he said, the building is wearing, is wearing an aluminum jacket. Mm -hmm. an, al an, aluminum, an aluminum jacket which regulates the temperature. When it is too hot, it cools. Mm -hmm. When it's too, cool, too, too cold, it warms. Mm -hmm. So it's a, an environmental friendly uh, structure that um, did not, that would not require uh, occupiers to use heaters, air conditioners, and such like equipment. And uh, we have uh, 5,700 members of the scheme. And uh, we have about 600 retirees of the scheme. When this building is fully sold, the proceeds, the net proceeds, will be applied or will be credited to the account of each member who existed up to June 2017 when the building was completed. And as I said earlier, part of the wisdom to invest in this structure was to accumulate pension wealth. There are only two objectives of pension. Mm -hmm. The two objectives of pension in a, any setup is number one, to accumulate, um, to, to, to minimize old age poverty and to provide financial independence to a pensioner. Mm -hmm. So to achieve that, studies that have been done by the Retirement Benefit Authority indicate that for a, a member to be comfortable in retirement, as he were or she were in mm -hmm. active life, you need to have a pension of not less than 75% of what you earn mm -hmm. as your gross pay. Mm -hmm. So this is what trustees are trying to do to assist members to enable to accumulate as much wealth to minimize old age poverty to provide financial independence to the trustee. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, 5,700 members. We we have about 600 members, and also trustees have, um, are taking care of uh, orphans, mm -hmm. orphans of members of the scheme who have rested, mm -hmm. where both parents are, in, uh, are deceased, and uh, the relatives have abandoned these children. Mm -hmm. So trustees take up the role to uh, become the guardians of these children to see that they grow to achieve what their parents would have wanted them to achieve in life. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, the scheme approximately now, it is together with this building, the value of the scheme is going towards uh, 15 billion, as we speak today, um, to including this building. But God willing, we anticipate to exit from the building when the, mem uh, the buyers come in and uh, hand it over to the owners of the building mm -hmm. and move on to do some other things mm -hmm. and look for other opportunities through which trustees can accumulate wealth and enable members to live comfortably in their retirement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Thank Prof, you. I come to you now. Yeah. Um, he's mentioned a lot that uh, the trustees are doing in terms of taking care of the orphans that do exist and also the fact that you, you are engaged in making sure that wealth is actually grown. What else? are you doing to ensure that pensioners get to, to, to enjoy more benefits that come with them being members? We, we do um, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. As I said, we work with the fund managers mm -hmm. who invest. So some of these finances are invested in government uh, papers. Mm -hmm. Some are in uh, securities. And we have also invested in land. And in fact, as a result of our investment on land, we have enabled many, many people in Eldoret, particularly most of our members, to acquire a small piece of land and uh, build their homes 
in this town. We buy land and then we sell so that we can, uh, the money can grow. So we have invested in land. We have invested in the regular, the usual investment uh, portfolios that are prescribed, like I've mentioned, the bonds, the bills, the securities, and so on and so forth. That, that's, what, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. On top of that, uh, what the chairman has said, um, trustees have been invested in enabling members um, to achieve one of their best needs, a home. Mm -hmm. In fact, this program of affordable housing, the trustees of more universal pension scheme started it in 1999, mm -hmm. when ITEC, East African Turning Extract, divested from its property in was in Gishu. At that time, trustees invested in approximately 600 acres, subdivided those parcels, mm -hmm. and offered it for sale. The members of Moy University Pension Scheme were, were the immediate market. Mm -hmm. The offer was to the rest of the world, but the members were the immediate market. Mm -hmm. They bought all those parcels, mm -hmm. and now that's where they live. Mm -hmm. Since 1999, trustees have invested in approximately 1,300 acres of land where they have subdivided and uh, enabled members to buy. Uh, and that process has enabled also the scheme to earn a return, a return which goes to the member account, mm -hmm. a return which enables the member to accumulate wealth. Mm -hmm. So end of year, each member is supposed to get a statement. Mm -hmm. So when you get a statement, here is your contribution of 10%. Here is the employer's contribution of 20%. Mm -hmm. Here is the investment return, mm -hmm. what you can call in the commercial and environment, the profits mm -hmm. that are shared to each member over the, over the years. Mm -hmm. And also, one other product that trustees are giving members, which will give them comfort in retirement, is the post-retirement medical scheme. Mm -hmm. Trustees have invested in the designing and the establishing of a post-retirement medical scheme. Mm -hmm. This is a scheme where the members of more university pension scheme will continue to contribute a certain amount every month for the rest of their working life. Mm -hmm. And when they retire, you only get a medical card mm -hmm. that allows you to go and secure medical services mm -hmm. in any hospitals in this country, mm -hmm. and it includes external referrals. Mm -hmm. So that product is being rolled in, uh, I think, somewhere in July, mm -hmm. and would, uh, it will be available to the members of more University Pension Scheme mm -hmm. in active service, mm -hmm. and also those, even those who have retired. Mm -hmm. There will be an arrangement that they can come and participate. Mm -hmm. um, the final thing is that uh, Prof, being a, a medical doctor and a physician, through his trusteeship, mm -hmm. he has been able to acquire knowledge on pension, financial investment, financial analysis. So he's as an expert as any other. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, through the guidance of the fund managers, trustees are able to structure their investment in a way that they identify those asset classes that have high returns, mm -hmm. are stable, mm -hmm. and can yield mm -hmm. um, returns that meet the expectation of mm -hmm. trustees. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, Bona, Charles, uh, before I let you go, I just want to ask, uh, what does it cost for someone to lease space here? Um, if you become a tenant is um, 50 shillings per square foot mm -hmm. on the, that's the basic, plus mm -hmm. service charge plus VAT. Mm -hmm. that, that's all. Mm -hmm. I know if you went to the other building in the nearby, the minimum is 120. So, mm -hmm. This is the building to be. Mm -hmm. This is the building to be. Mm -hmm. And also, if you want to buy, it, it depends how you want to buy. If you are paying cash, mm -hmm. the price is very good. Mm -hmm. If you are paying in 50% plus few installments, the price is also attractive. Mm -hmm. So we have um, options for each person who wants to come on board and own space in this building. Mm -hmm. So it, it depends on... Uh, your need,
come, we have the space. And as Prof said, during the feasibility study, one of the, the main response, responses were on parking security of their uh, assets mm -hmm. and the space that is not uh, polluted. Mm -hmm. And this is the space to be. Mm -hmm. As he said, 600 vehicles can park in this car. That, that's about, in town, when we did the study, that's about uh, six also streets and there will be change. Mm -hmm. So the space for parking is sufficient. We have uh, also water. Mm -hmm. We have uh, borehole water mm -hmm. that, is, uh, is, um, that supports the count water. And uh, so there is there's enough infrastructure. I can say that uh, Daima is an intelligent building mm -hmm. that one needs to be. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Professor, I pretty much what Mr. Charles is saying is Daima is a building that has gone to school. Yes. It's an intelligent building because talk about technology, <laughs> water recycling, and also in terms of security of, of, of your tenants. Nishule and Bayo, Imeenda I just want you to briefly, in a minute or so, to just tell the pension members that Mbele iko sawa na building iko imara. Thank you. Mbele iko sawa na building iko imara. But having said that, <laughs> Having said that, uh, no, we anticipate that, uh, not we anticipate, but mm -hmm. normally our retirees get their pension for life. Mm -hmm. That's another meaning of Daima. That's mm -hmm. actually why we chose this name. Mm -hmm. And we anticipate that our partners who come to buy will be here for forever and ever, which mm -hmm. means Daima. That's how the building is. So if you want a peaceful place, forever mm -hmm. with all those things we have said mm -hmm. then i must uh, repeat i can't stop repeating that uh -huh. this is the place if you are in eldoret uh -huh. and uh, it's also very easy to tell someone where it is where it is and Mbele that is mm -hmm. Mbele Ikosawa na building Iko Imara. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Paul. Are you a chairperson, board of trustees, Moy University Pension Scheme and CPL Charles Nyameno Pension Manager Santeni Sana for making time on this show? Remember, this is the county focus, the very first premier show happening in Eldoret in a building that is Imara, is Daima. And all you can say is we've enjoyed our time here. But don't go too far. When we come back, we go straight to Newsline with the top stories across the day. See you in a few.